Hey! You just got off the phone with President Hagemeyer. This guy we're going to have dinner with sounds pretty interesting. You know, he made all of his money selling anti-static furniture for laboratories. He's not even a scientist. He's just a furniture salesman. Yeah. What am I supposed to talk about? Well, you talk about whatever you want. Just don't be insulted. What if he says something I think is ridiculous? Well, keep it to yourself. What if you just said something I think is ridiculous? Because... Okay, maybe we need to work a little on your conversation skills. Like not calling people out for saying stupid things. How am I supposed to practice that? What's up? Okay, Sheldon. Try having a conversation with Billy about science. Let's see. Uh, what do you know about quantum mechanics? My dad's a mechanic. At his shop, he has a calendar with a bikini lady on it. Dad. Instead of losing patience, act interested and then ask a follow-up question. Your father's a mechanic. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Quantum mechanics. That describes the basic particles and forces that make up reality. Let's talk about that. I'm gonna marry that bikini lady. I've been working on a theory about the wave-particle duality of light. I have a nightlight that looks like Spider-Man, but I don't turn it on. Go ahead. Why don't you turn it on? I'm afraid of spiders. Yeah, seems like a good place to stop. Now what happens? You go home. Thank you for your hospitality. George Cooper. Meet Gary O'Brien, the anti-static furniture king. Hello. Shocking to meet you. you. Don't do that. And this, of course, is our physics prodigy, Sheldon Cooper. A great pleasure. I had an obligation to fulfill. So I closed my eyes and thought of science. Just like on my honeymoon. Sheldon, why don't you tell Mr. O'Brien about some of your goals at the university? Well, I'm pushing for stricter dress codes. There are a lot of belly buttons on display. Science goals. My ultimate goal is to one day devise the grand unified field theory. Uh, you're one of those, are you? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, kirk incompleteness theorems eliminate the possibility of a unified theory. You honestly believe that? Yep. That's interesting. Tell me more about how Einstein's life goal was nothing but folly. I believe we have to look to gravity and its magnitude, and I was really doing my best to hold it together. It could be a repulsive force if you just add negative mass. I smiled and nodded like my Meemaw's Houston Oilers bobblehead. And I also discovered a way that we could predict the masses of all the known particles using the Egyptian pyramids. In physics, there's a phenomenon known as supercritical assembly. If you bring enough material together in one place, the trick is numerology. In the right configuration, eventually it will explode. This is fun. Not a lot of people I can talk to scientist to scientist. You're not talking scientist to scientist. You're not a scientist. You're just a rich man that no one will be honest to you because everyone wants your money. Oh, don't listen to him. I mean, he's just a kid. Why don't you tell me a little more about your pyramid thingy? 